It's talk time. Let's talk about <clears throat> the um, the decision to go with Tacoma. So, as we know, I've been looking to do an off off road overlander build, which is kind of a <clears throat> misleading topic because you can be hiking and be overlanding. But that's kind of the terminology they, I guess, use in today's world for doing an off-road build. So I was battling with either the Jeep Gladiator Rubicon or the Toyota Tacoma, specifically the TRD off-road package. We're going to talk about why I chose the TRD instead of the Pro in a minute. But let's talk about why I went with Tacoma versus Jeep. So I, I want to get this out of the way. I'm a huge Jeep fan. I've had uh, several Jeeps, older Jeeps. Built a few Jeeps. Had some Tacomas. Um, had several Toyota products. And um, the reason I went with Tacoma versus the Jeep is kind of a twofold thing. Number one is that Pentastar engine. <laughs> I don't like it. I know that they say they've got them dialed in pretty well and all this, that, and the other, and, and that's all good. But personally, I just don't like that Pentastar engine. Okay. Okay. That's number one. Number two was the money. As far as capabilities are concerned, they're pretty even. Granted, you get a few little extras with the Rubicon. You get the four-way lockers. You get uh, the front disconnecting sway bar. You know, uh, but when you look at the world of off-roading, just like anything else, racing, motocross, it, a lot of it is your driver skill. Because you got to understand the lines. You got to know. It's all in reading the road and knowing your capabilities. Now, granted, those extra options just make it even more tempting to do more difficult things. But uh, when it comes to off roading, the TRD off road is no slouch by any means. So it was that functionality. Um, more so the Pentastar engine uh, and cost had something to do with it. <clears throat> so that's why I, I did the Tacoma. Now, why did I do the TRD off-road instead of the TRD Pro? In fact, when I, when I was buying my truck, the dealer said, well, you should just get the TRD Pro. And I basically looked at him and I said, well, okay, please explain to me why I should give you $10,000 more for a suspension system that I'm going to get rid of anyhow. He said, well, what do you mean? I said, okay. Basically, the difference between the TRD Off-Road and the TRD Pro is the Bilstein suspension in the TRD Off-Road versus Fox in the TRD Pro. Plus, you get a few extra little features here and there, little things Functionality-wise, as far as capabilities are concerned, they're the same truck. There is no difference other than the suspension system is the real big difference between the two. And I plan to modify my truck. <clears throat> so spending $10,000 for Fox shocks, when I'm going to turn around and pull that suspension out anyway and put a different suspension in it, just made no sense to me. Because I want to lift it. I don't want to put... I don't want to go overboard, and I'm not going to go overboard. I want to be able to put a little bit more aggressive tires. I want to put a lift. I'm, in fact, I'm going to go with the TRD lift, that factory TRD lift. Yeah, it, it's a it's a manufacturer installed thing, but to preserve my warranty, it's worth it for me for that peace of mind. I'm gonna, the TRD lift is still the Bilstein suspension, um, but it's a two one lift it gives you two inches in the front one inch in the rear 
And so that's kind of what I'm going to do. And so it's kind of the same thing in the Jeep world. You have the Rubicon versus the the um, uh, Mojave. Okay. I would never buy a Mojave and then put a lift kit on it. It's kind of crazy. So I would never buy a Pro and put a lift kit on it. But I want to lift it. That's why I didn't go with the Pro. Because I can still put a lifted suspension. I can go with tires, bigger tires, more aggressive tires. I can put my Prinsu roof rack. I can put my you know bed rack, my, my overlanding tent, roto packs, all that stuff. I can completely mod out my truck the way I want it modified and still not have spent that $10,000 in the Pro. So that's kind of why I chose the TRD Off-Road over the TRD Pro. And that's why I chose the Tacoma over the Gladiator Rubicon. Don't get me wrong, man. I love those Gladiators. Uh, I do. A lot of people don't like them. I love them. I think they're incredible vehicles. I think Jeep has finally started listening to its base again. Because for many years, Jeep's base has been telling them to build a truck and they wouldn't listen and they wouldn't listen and they wouldn't listen. And they finally started listening. Now if they were just listening, get rid of that stupid Pentastar. But, whatever. I digress. Um, not that I'm saying one is better than the other. I'm just saying I have a different plan of attack. And so I made a financially uh, a financial decision versus a compulsive decision. Because it's no secret, I've been talking about this for a long time now. And uh, I finally pulled the trigger. Because I'm the guy that researches to the nth degree. And uh, I've I found all the information that I need. And I assure you, um, my decision-making process was more of a financial, a financially sound investment process because I can take my TRD off-road and after I'm done modifying it the way I want it modified, I will still be just as capable as the Gladiator Rubicon and as the TRD Pro, only I will not have spent as much money. Okay. So that's kind of why I did what I did. I know this may seem like a boring video to you, but it's more of a me sitting down talking, kind of letting you know what I did and why I did what I did. Um, because I can have the same functionality in a very, very, very capable vehicle and still have money in my pocket at the end of the day. And that's what it all came down to. Just a financially sound decision. Not knocking the Jeeps, not knocking the TRDs. I don't care if you have an SR5. In fact, <laughs> it's kind of funny because we now have two Tacomas. We have the SR5 and we have this TRD off-road. <clears throat> Bought both of them. They're both the same color. His and hers Tacomas. The SR5 is for my wife. The TRD off-road is for me. Um... I just liked the idea of building a TRD off-road I just thought it was a better decision that's just me you guys with Jeeps out there man don't kill me here because I'm not knocking you guys I love those Jeeps I do I, I love those Jeeps don't like the Pentastar but I love those Jeeps man so I'm not going to rush into anything. I'm going to do this. We'll be putting videos on here. Um, <clears throat> going to do it in my time. I'm not in a hurry to do anything. Uh, it's a brand spanking new truck. And uh, I'm not really in a hurry. I will be doing this over time. And uh, we'll be sharing it with you. So anyway, that was why I did what I did. And uh, now you know. Until next time, thanks for watching the video.